Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeston from Beauty and the Beastons and today we are doing a Christmas clean and decorate. This was not originally on the schedule today. It was supposed to be a reset, but we had to do a little schedule change just based on life. I've had a couple sick kids and just dealing with getting our life back together after being away and the holidays and hosting a third birthday party for my youngest daughter. So we are just trying to get our life back together and in doing that, we are decluttering, donating some clothes, getting a hold of the laundry that just seemed honestly never ending um, before we can decorate. So that's like our prize at the end. First, we're gonna clean and get everything under control and then we're gonna be able to finally decorate upstairs. I love how everything came out. Like it just feels really good when you walk into each and every room and I can't wait for you to see it. We didn't really get a lot of new stuff this year, which also feels good to be just reusing things that we already had, like the kids' Christmas trees we've had forever, um, just all of it. Maybe we got like a couple little pieces here and there, but like I said, I can't wait for you to see how it came out. But first, we got to get the hard part done, which is getting a hold of the laundry. I'm decluttering a ton, and after like all of the amazing Black Friday sales and Cyber Monday sales, I have a feeling I'll be decluttering even more clothes because I got some new stuff and I don't like to bring in new things without donating some of my old things. Being very real with myself, you see some things still have the tags on it that I purchased in the summer and it's too late to return now, but I basically got three tube tops and they are way too short and it looks really cute on a lot of other people, but I'm just not, I have the full belly out type of person. Um, <laughs> so I am donating a lot of those and here I'm just putting together some workout sets and just trying to make it all make sense because I was just in the mood to feel lighter. Everything was starting to feel like too much and I just really needed to declutter. So I hope that this motivates you to do the same because not only will it make you feel good, but it'll help somebody in need and it's just i don't know i always i love to declutter and i love to organize because i know how good i feel after both of them by the way don't you love my drying rack <laughs> chris and i promised each other that by january by the end of january we will go ahead and redo the laundry room ourselves so we have a small laundry room which you'll see here in a second but it has a ton of potential we just haven't touched it since we moved in back in 2020 so there's so many things that we can do to make it more functional and have like a way for me to dry my clothes i got a really cool rack at our bay house i don't know if you ever saw it in our laundry room makeover but i love how how that is because it just pushes up against the wall and then you can pull it out so definitely there's space saving functional items that we could get for the laundry room All right, we are so close to being done putting away laundry and donating on the bottom here i just put my like lounge sets like the bigger sweatpant type material and then this top drawer here i have some t-shirts as well as pajamas closet is finally done and now I'm just bagging up some items. The first thing I always do is give things to my sister that I know she would like and then I make another bag of stuff that I don't think she'll like and just donate that. So she'll go through this first and then she'll donate whatever she doesn't want. Why don't we all calm down? 
It's the next day, I'm just making up my bed and gonna throw some of my laundry in. Basically just starting the day off fresh so that we continue to clean and declutter upstairs and then get to the fun part, which is decorating. This is my heated blanket that I loved for so long, but I'm kind of in the market for a new one. So if you have a heated blanket that you love, let me know down in the comments below. The reason I want a new one is because this one is really small and the kids love to get under it with me and then they like argue over the blanket. It's even like small for me. I feel like maybe you're supposed to like lay on it. I don't know. But anyway, I definitely would love like a big, soft, heated blanket. Only the good sides Always pretty smiles are covering her face You know it is all lies You know it is all lies Finally going in and grabbing out my dirty clothes and throwing them in the washer and then once I get in the laundry room I see some other stuff that's been sitting in there like a basket that's needed to go to the basement and just some random stuff So I'll be cleaning up the laundry room as well I'm trying to just take it room by room and declutter and do what needs to be done instead of getting overwhelmed Go outside, the snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. So I refilled our laundry detergent and I wanted to show you the guest room upstairs. Chris is actually just switching out everything back down to the basement. We have a guest room in the basement as well, but that bed is so much more comfortable and the guest room bed that is now in here, which is from the basement. We do use a lot in the guest room because if the kids are sick or if they want to hang out in there, that's just a room that we wind up using a lot but not actually for guests. But anyway, the kids are finishing up dinner and I wanted to run up here and put my tree together first just because it has like the fake snow on it that gets everywhere so I didn't want them breathing that in or getting it all over them. So I'm putting my tree together first and working up here and they will finally come in to help you'll see. But I love this tree, it was so inexpensive from Walmart. I got it last year and it'll definitely stay in this corner here. Just love it. It was, I think it was under $100 when I got it. It might've been on sale. And yeah, last year I put ribbons all over it. And I don't know if I'm just not good at putting the big ribbons in the tree or if it's just not my style, I'm not really sure. But this year I was like, I don't want these ribbons. So I wound up donating them. Comment down below and let me know if you put ribbons in your Christmas tree. I'm so interested to know because sometimes I think when we don't grow up with something, we don't really carry it over to our home. Sometimes, not all the time, but we never had ribbons in our tree. The one thing, the same thing goes for if there's something at your home that you used to do that you don't carry to your home. And for me, that was tinsel. I always loved, my mom always put candy canes and tinsel in our tree and I love it, but I do not trust my kids or animals enough to have tinsel in my tree yet, but I do really love how it looks. One thing that I have to be really mindful with when I'm decorating, and I'm sure a lot of you can relate, is it doesn't always have to be Pinterest worthy. There are so many things that look Pinterest worthy and you just feel like you have to have it too. My ornaments don't always match. You should see my tree downstairs if you didn't see it yet. I don't know, I think, I don't know if I showed it yet, but we got the viral Christmas tree. It took a really long time to come in, um, but it's here now and I love it. And the kids decorated the tree, AKA just the bottom of a 12 foot tree. And I love it because it's all like ornaments that they've made or like their baby announcements, just like all that type of stuff and nothing matches at all, but it's my favorite. Like, yes, the viral Christmas tree is amazing, but what's even more amazing is the memories and the ornaments that the kids decorated it with. Another thing that I try to be mindful with is letting the kids help. So 
For downstairs, I decorate it by myself when they're either at school or sleeping. Um, but I always let them help upstairs. And the only reason that is because a lot of the stuff I decorate with is like glass and like things I don't really want them doing, like putting garland around this heavy mirror, like unsafe type of things. But upstairs, they can help do whatever they want with decorating. So I always just think about their memories too. Like this is their childhood, that memories that we're creating. And I want them to remember decorating with their mom and having fun with me and, you know, I already see it in some of them, like how much they love to decorate themselves and how much they look forward to it. And I even got a new train for under the boys Christmas tree because you remember the whole train incident. I wonder if any of you have been here since that, but I got one of their trains stuck in my hair and it was when I just had the two boys. Chris was at work and I was home alone and I literally could not get the train out of my hair because I think it was Tanner that was like, had, was like revving up the engine and the wheels just tangled around my hair anyway we didn't have to cut it and I got them a new one this year because it doesn't work anymore and Tanner wanted to put the broken one back out because of the nostalgia and it honestly made me happy he just was fine with the broken one not working just having it out but having his memories and just little things like that that's what it's all about this wait till the end because I wound up adding more Dollar Tree picks but I absolutely love how something that was already there was even more elevated to a more Christmas style instead of just completely getting something new. So this is one of the only new pieces I got for my room besides a blanket and when I saw this at Home Goods, I was like this would be perfect for under the TV. I just love like the whole style of it. It's like they're like kind of like golden peanut wooded beads and it just, I don't know, I just love it. Another thing that I think is really weird about me is that our dresser and like both of our nightstands are like, they're very easily broken right now because we've had them for a while and there's like the tops of them are warping slightly from like different drinks being up there and I'm usually the first one to be like okay let's declutter and donate and get something new but I just cannot like get rid of my bedroom furniture I am like attached to it in a weird way it's from our old house these are the nightstands that I had like you know the postpartum nightstand full of like breast milk bottles and pump stuff like I don't know what it is because I'm usually not attached to items like that but I don't I just can't get rid of these <laughs> on to the girls room this was new that I grabbed from home goods as well and we just needed this first of all Ella has been dying for like a makeup hair cart so it's perfect for her but I want it to like just clear off and make some more space in like where her dresser and closet is so you'll see how it all comes out the larger like cat in a hat and the this like um, princess tiara headbands I'm putting in a bin that they have labeled crowns and tiaras just because they're so bulky right there um, but basically Ella is setting up her little makeup stand to me it looks cluttered but to her it is the best thing in the entire world and I remember being little doing the same thing like I loved how all my stuff looked set up together like makeup and hair stuff jewelry and I was also the type of little girl that if we ever went on vacation I had to unpack everything right away and would make myself like a little makeup station Mom. You love it? Yes. How, how did like you it? know? I could tell by your face how much you love it. Um, that was very good. Amazing. Yes, 
finally putting up this tree when I was putting this tree up I got kind of mad at myself because I saw there was like an Amazon Prime deal for like a bigger pink tree and I actually debated it for a second and I'm like no keep the tree that you've had forever and love and that's this beautiful like rose gold Christmas tree I think I got it from Michael's like on a Black Friday sale when Ella was a baby and it's the same tree skirt it's the same everything and I just love it and so does she Alright, so the tree is officially put together and I always let the kids just decorate if they want me to help them I will with the tree or they can do it themselves. Ella wanted to do it herself for a little bit and then I started helping and then she let the boys come help her as well. But I do, I'm not going to lie, this is, I'm sure other moms can relate, but I do say, alright girls, let's decorate your room. Evie wasn't feeling the best so she was sitting in the chair watching us. Um, and then the boys, like, same thing, like, if you don't want the girls in your room, that's fine. We'll just decorate your room together because I believe that they, you know, we owe them our attention to just them. But luckily, like after a little bit of the girls doing it by themselves, they invited the boys to come do it with them. And same for the boys. They invited Ella to come do it with them. So I let them have their choice of doing it by themselves first. And if they want their siblings to come, they can. Because honestly, it's just to save myself from like breaking up fights and everything. And plus, I want them to enjoy it. So my family and I are getting ready to make our Christmas bucket list. We do this every year. If you watch the vlog channel, you know. What are some traditions or some things that you love to do with your family for Christmas? We already did the light show. Um, we surprised the kids on our way home from Thanksgiving dinner and went to the light show. And that's pretty much like one of our big things and then have hot cocoa and look at Christmas houses every year in our area they put out a list of like Christmas houses that you can go and see I guess the people who own the houses submit their house to be on the map of Christmas houses a lot of them have donation boxes out front where they donate to different charities and we just love to do it every single year they do the same thing with Halloween houses it's nice because you're nice and warm and cozy in your car um, so that we made ornaments already. That's one of our traditions. We still have to make cookies and the other one of our traditions is those little um, We make pretzels with Rolos on top and the kids make them completely by themselves and top it with an M&M or a pecan And they're one of our favorite Christmas snacks One thing that I would like to add to our Christmas tradition because I feel so bad that I forgot it this year at our Thanksgiving tradition Of course, we donate it like money here and there and we donate clothes and toys but we donated like a couple of like box goods and canned goods to the school but I want to be able to do more than that um, so I want them to be a part of helping some type of charity this winter as well to be able to experience that and not just help people in need but see how good it feels to help people in need because I'll never forget how good it felt for me to do that when I was little like doing the soup kitchens I also did the soup kitchen a lot before I had kids and then like, helping out with the special olympics like not only is it amazing to help other people and to donate your time but it makes you feel good at least me to be able to help other people so at this point it is getting late and I had to call in all my help I'm like Chris please help me let's finish off the room because I wanted to get Everly to bed that's like always the task right like hurry up and do this before nap time hurry up and do this before bedtime um, but with her being sick and everything which everything's just been slightly off she's definitely feeling so much better now thank god and she was good for Thanksgiving which was great but she's just exhausted and worn down when she had her little feast at her preschool, it was, half the class was out with the sickness. So it's just that time of year and these little ones are still building up their immune system. So anyway, Ella picked out this incredibly bright Christmas blanket from Home Goods. She loved it. Chris was like, wow, this is really bright. I'm like, I know, but she loves it. Again, going on, you don't need Pinterest because my kids' room looks like a kid's room. Wait to see the boys' room. They this year really wanted to tape up posters in their room and 
although it made me die inside, I was like, sure, because I had to remember all of my Hanson posters and basically any Teen Bop, is that what's called? Teen Bop? Teen Tiger? Oh my gosh, Tiffany, I'm blanking out, but the magazines that had the posters in them were my favorite growing up and my walls were covered. So even though you go inside of their room, sometimes you're like, wow, this is a whole lot. They love their room and that's all that matters, right? And maybe so did you that everything would change from now on. Yes, from this Christmas song, this Christmas song, from this Christmas song. Chris and the kids did the tree while I was putting Evie to bed. Now it's time to take off their linens and I just finished washing their Christmas linens and grabbing them out of the dryer and then we will make up their beds. This is all stuff they've had for years and years. When I was watching this back when I was editing, I was thinking to myself, like, could Tanner be any more cute? Like, his attention to detail and, I don't know. Like, he's even fixing his bun bun. He's the cutest. Didn't get to vacuum the girls' room because I was putting Evie to bed, but I will vacuum it today. And I don't know if you've noticed, I forgot to mention it. Um, I think I talked about it on Instagram, but we had all the rugs removed from upstairs. Besides the fact that it's just, like, not good for, like, dust and allergies, the rugs were completely stained from like the dogs and coffee spills and like other random spills but the type of rug that we had literally you couldn't get any stain out of it so it was just time. to finish my room last night because Ella fell asleep in my bed but I did get to finish it up this morning and I wanted to just give you a little overview of how everything came out this was one of those things that, like I didn't have an exact plan for but it came out beautiful and I just love how cozy our room feels so enjoy these overviews I have some Rudolph on for you um, but yeah I just really like how everything came out everything feels really cohesive to me and just Give us those cozy Christmas vibes. I wound up adding some berries to my little egg chair that I had left over and then I put those Dollar Tree picks over here. Let me show you up close, but I love how this came out again because just adding a couple little things to something that I already had and I just think it's really pretty.
And then here's the view from my bed. I just love it, so cozy. And here's the overview of the boys' room. I do have like a couple things, like a shower curtain and soap dispensers and a couple pieces of decorations to put into their bathrooms, but I just didn't have time to do it. So that'll probably be just like include it in my next get it all done or something like that. But here is the room. And then I remembered, well actually Tanner remembered that we forgot to put the Mario star on his tree. So we went ahead and did that this morning as well. And then here's the girls room. I think this is probably like the little girl's dream come true with all the pink and unicorns. It's definitely my girl's dream come true. They love their room and so do I. Just to never forget finding out Ella was a girl and saying, I get to have my unicorn nursery. He remembers that. Yes, I am on my way. We'll put our differences aside. And, just... and then here's my favorite little bear from when I was a little girl. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. So I